Hello friends, welcome. My name is Zubair Altaf Qureshi and welcome to my channel that is Zab Qureshi's Network Lesson. And this, in this lesson, we will be talking about F5 LTM, Local Traffic Manager. And specific to F5, we will be talking about health monitors. So you will, after this lesson, you will know what health monitors are, how, how we can use health monitors, and how we can create custom health monitors, right? And basically, in my introductory videos, I have told you that the uh, the F5, right, the F5 appliance uh, sends key applies to the uh, to the servers, right? And that's how uh, it knows. I mean, I mean, the, the default that I created was HTTP help monitor, and it uh, what it does was it sends HTTP GET requests to the servers, and that's how it knows that the servers are online and basically in that it just checks the port number port 80 if it's up and i mean if it's online that's the only thing it looks right and that's the default one right basically uh if you see if you see what um okay let me just go to the web page of my f5 okay and log in as admin and password is admin123 so i will log into my GUI. And basically, where we went was local traffic manager pools, pool, and then here, right? So this is the configuration. In inside configuration, you can see the health monitor. So we selected HTTP. This means it will send periodic uh, GET request. Uh, it's around yeah five seconds by default, and 15 seconds is the 16 seconds is the whole time. So that is how it comes to know the servers are online or not. So this is just checking the port 80, right? So in simple word, what I want, uh, if I want to describe health monitor, it's health monitor is basically a mechanism, right? That allows the big IP appliance and the pool actually, okay, this pool to check the availability of each server in the pool, not only if the IP address is pingable, but if the application is running on it, okay? So these servers are having an application, right? So not, I mean, that application is running uh, in it or... Uh, on it or not uh, okay that application should be reachable and working correctly okay the web service itself could be down right so so the port is open but the, um, I mean web service is down or crashed or the service port are continuously listening like like I said port 80 it will be listening and continue to operate operate right it can continue to operate delivering pages I mean delivering pages that are uh, not there okay so I mean you could get a error um, I mean error on the screen, but then big IP would not think that the surface is down, right? So because the AP, I mean port 80 is continuously working, it will be I mean forwarding request to that server also. So that's what we don't want, right? Uh, so you want to have a reliable way to check all servers to ensure that they are available to receive requests. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we do that? So let's do this uh, normal check. This one, the default one, HTTP. What I I told you that it. Uh, okay, if you go to members, you will see that all the members are online, and and I mean the screen check means the health monitor is uh, like mm, uh, is working fine, and and the servers is uh, servers uh, server is up. So based on this health monitor. Um, we have specified HTTP. Now let's, uh, if I go to my, let's go to my, this, uh, this is my, what, the Linux. And if I go and do some, so let me, let me do some refresh. Okay. Open my browser. And let me go to my page. That is one, this one. There was this one, 150, right? So if I go here and okay, if, if config ETH zero, so I have the IP address HTTP colon 100 150. That is the IP address. So yeah, so FN and F5. So I should receive one, two, three, right? So all are working. So if I go to my statistics here, statistics, monitor, local traffic, and then select the pools. So I should see the traffic is distributed among all the servers. So let me just reset this and let me show you what they 
so i told you this this uh, monitor is based on the http right port 80 so if i go to my server one here sorry let me go to my server one here open this oh and 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 and, and i have to change the settings to increase the font bold in apply okay now what i will do is here i will disable the http services no ip http server and no ip http secure server okay sorry secure server that's what i did now if i go to f5 and check my pools this health check should fail because my http has been failed so let's wait for a second refresh and now you see that so this was based on http only right so now if i go to my mm, i mean statistics it will not be uh, forwarding packets to that uh, that server if i go here and now if i type in f5 i should see only 2 and 3 okay i can see only 2 and 3 if i refresh this you can see i have only 2 and 3 okay so let me go back to my server server 1 and and configure back my ip http and ip http secure server services right so i turn on my server uh, i mean services so it should continue i mean the server should pass the health check and it should come back online in the pool so if i go here and in the pool if i go here in the members it should come back so likewise if i go to statistics modules and local traffic and go to the pools for statistics now if when i uh, reset this the i mean the web page request should go to uh, all the servers again right it should be one two three again so you can see one two three one two three right if i go here refresh so i can see it's again okay because i'm doing round robin so that's why it's like like that so anyways you can see all the three servers are back online now the problem here is okay one another thing is that when the server goes up and down right when a server goes offline all of that is stored in the log in the big ip so uh, if you want to check like what happened when you were not there so you can go to your system and check the logs here and then go to local traffic right here so you can check that okay you have to go to the very last page that is the latest one and you can see here somewhere okay here so one so it, it went down it it went up right so it went down it went up this is the latest one this is before now it went down okay and it went up also you can see uh, for how how long it was up and for how long it was down right so this is the log section where you can see or oh, like what problems the server we are facing i mean that's how you can check in the logs and okay so this was based on your what you say the http service right port so there can be like like I spoke about it, there can be a scenario wherein the port is continuously uh, working and the uh, services are running, but then the web the page itself has crashed, right? Or it's not um, giving you particular uh, uh, response back. For example, for example, if I go here on this page my uh, my page is showing cisco system access cisco unix server 3 like that right so what can happen is this page could have been corrupted right but still the page was i mean the request was sent to the server so how to check that so what you can do in your um, big ip is you can create a custom monitor profile right so i've created one here i'll delete this right let's do this again and I can create a custom from here, create and name as a custom HTTP and description my custom health monitor, right? So this is my custom health monitor and type should be, I'll go for HTTP. 
so basically this is the interval that's what i was talking about the default is 5 and uh, 16 is the timeout okay by every 5 seconds this uh, get request would be sent to the server and you want something to be i mean checked on the page itself so here i can see i have server 3 okay let's uh, let's get this string only so i should get this string then only it means that the server is up right so I need to type in the username and password. Okay, so when the monitor is applied, this custom health monitor is applied on the pool. What happens is the F5 will go and send get request and look for that string. And the servers that don't uh, like reply back with that that string and he's not able to find the string in the web page, it will uh, uh, it will put them down. Okay, it will uh, like think that the server are not uh, passing the health check right so it will be uh, uh, discarded from the pool and no more uh, web requests will be sent to the those nodes pool members so let's click finished and after that what you have to do is you have to go to the pool and apply this um, health uh, uh, this health monitor so from here i'll remove this that is the default the one we have is this one and update so once you do that what will happen is after a while the members okay so wh what do you think who is going to respond with that server 3 not server 1 not server 2 only server 3 so that means server 2 and server 1 are going to go down okay let's verify this and uh, as i said right server 1 server 2 gone down and only server 3 is online so if i go to my um, statistics again modules ltm and pools and i need to refresh this so only the server 3 will be getting those requests now if i go here and click on f5 i should see only server 3 server 3 all the time right and i refresh here you so see only server 3 is responding to the request so that is how you create the custom health monitors and you can have i mean based on every other guy he can make his own custom http health monitors or other other uh, i mean health monitors also it's not just http if you go, you go in here and go here and check the okay i've selected a type so now if i go in here and create a new one so the, the, the type i have is humongous right humongous because it's not like that the server is down right server is not down i can i can go to the to the big ip and i can i can just okay restart this wait a second i can ping all the servers right it's not just one server it's it it's not that one and two are down right no they are up if i go here okay wait a second guys let me just show you uh change settings appearance font Port 16 okay apply so if i go here and ping my 10.1.1.1 they will be online right they are online but they are failing the health check right so that is how it is right mm. so it's up to you guys this is custom and you can create how uh, the health monitors based on your requirement and you have so many types from where you can i um, mean check the health of the uh, servers right so yeah so if you go again uh, last but not least i'll go again to my logs ltm and i'll check the same thing that uh this right so server one and server two went down right so let's bring them up and we'll see the same thing here right so we'll go to the local traffic and pool and my city pool and I'll just get this here and bring the HTTP back. So update and I should see in my system and in my, okay, let's first of all check in my pool members, they came online back or not. Um, yeah, they are back. So go to system, go to logs, go to LTM, local traffic and go to the last page. Now that is 70. Uh, ah, yeah, so this is up now. Not this one so this is for the general modern change slash for blue to green okay this is saying the same thing let's refresh and see if we get some other logs or not okay 
let's go to 69 let's go to 69 not 70 maybe it was there and yeah guys so this is up right this came back so um, okay yeah so that was it guys for this video hope you understood the health monitors and basically if if you practice you will remember this more so i would suggest you to practice this along with me um, i hope you guys have created this lab and and if you like my content uh, please please do subscribe to my channel share my video and share my channel as much as possible that's the least you could do guys thanks thank you bye bye see you in my next video stay tuned bye bye